Hey, 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 welcome back, guys. And today I am going to quickly run through some of the more basic commands that you're going to need to know in the command line shell for getting around the file system. So stick around. All right, so if you are running Raspbian, you'll need to know some of the standard Unix commands. And like most systems in Linux or Unix, Files are stored in directory hierarchies, but you can also call them folders if you want, if you feel more comfortable with that term. When you log in, unless you have a custom setting, you will most likely begin in your home slash username directory. And for Raspbian, the default username that we've been logging in with is pi. So your home directory is gonna be slash home slash pi. And most users on the system except for root will have their home directory stored within slash home. The main exception is the root users folder which is stored in slash root. And uh, on your command prompt, you will see your home directory represented as a tilde. And using the tilde, you can easily get back to your home folder at any time. All right, so let's get into working with directories. And the first thing you might want to know is where am I? What directory am I located in? The first command that we're going to start with is pwd, which tells us that. It's the print working directory command. And you'll find that uh, most commands in Unix are abbreviations for the uh, activity that they perform. And so you'll see here that we are in slash home slash pi. And if we want to change to another directory, you will use the cd command. So let's go to the top level directory, also called the root, which is not to be confused with the root users home directory. And for some people new to Unix, I know this can be a little bit confusing, but anyway, let's move on. Uh, cd slash, uh, slash represents the main root directory, and this is a forward slash. Many people mistakenly use the term backslash when they really mean forward slash because we read from left to right, so a slash leaning to the right is in the forward direction. And there is nothing above this top level directory, only subdirectories beneath it. So let's take a moment to look at a few subdirectories beneath the main root directory. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is Etsy. Etsy stores many of the system's configuration files, so get familiar with this folder. If you want to change configuration settings, you're going to come here often. So let's just take a look at what's in Etsy, and we do that using the ls command. ls is short for list, and it just lists directory contents. ls takes a few options to kind of change the way that the listing looks. So let's take a look at a few of the more common options. Dash A lists all files, including hidden files. And files beginning with a dot are considered hidden. So anything that you name with a dot preceding the file name uh, will be hidden automatically unless you use the A option. L lists the files lengthwise down the screen. P will show a slash after directories so you can e easily uh, distinguish them from files. And dash dash color, um, this will give you a colorful uh, directory listing, but this doesn't always work depending on the system and if you're logging in remotely. You can also combine multiple options with a single dash uh, like so. So ls dash lap will give you all of those options. Now to go back a directory, we have two options in this particular case. We can either type cd slash to take us back to the main root directory since that's where we started before going into Etsy. Or we can type cd dot dot which takes us back one directory. And also uh, cd dot dot slash dot dot would take us back two directories if we happen to be um, two subdirectories in. A single dot represents the current directory that we happen to be in, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so let's just go back a step. So let's cd dot dot. And there are a number of other directories to familiarize yourself within the root folder or directory. Slash bin is for commands and binaries. Slash sbin is for system and admin commands. Slash user is user related stuff and it also has its own bin and sbin. And var stands for variable. Uh, var log is a common destination for me to uh, troubleshoot problems uh, that end up in log files. Slash home, as I mentioned before, is for the user directories. Slash mnt, which stands for mount, is uh, the mount point for pretty much any 
external drives or directories, or you can even mount files in here for like ISO files and things like that. Uh, slash dev is for device interfaces to the hardware, and slash lib is for programs um, libraries. And there are a lot more, but this is just a quick rundown of some of the more common directories that you're likely to encounter and use. All right, moving on. So how do we add, remove, or modify files and directories? Well, to create a new directory, you use mkdir and then the directory name that you want to create. And to remove that empty directory, we'll just use rmdir and then the directory name we just created. Uh, this would throw an error if the directory was not empty. So there's another option to do this, but it can be a little dangerous in the wrong hands if you don't know what you're doing. So please use caution with what I'm about to tell you. Uh, the command is rm, and you use rm to remove files or directories. If you're removing a directory that contains files or subdirectories, you'll want to use rm and then the options dash r and f, and then your directory name. The R in this case says do the removing recursively, drilling down into the subdirectories located within the directory you're trying to remove. And the F stands for force this to happen, meaning, hey, I know what I'm doing here, so just do it. And it will let you do it as long as you have permission to that file or directory. Um, so again, use these op options only if you need to. And there's no are you sure pop-up window or anything like that to save you from making a mistake with this command. All right, so moving and copying files and directories. Uh, you'll want to use the cp command to copy. So for example, cp file name 1 to file name 2. And this will copy the first file to the second file. Uh, and make a duplicate of it. And to rename or move a file without duplicating it, use the mv command, which is mv file name 1 to file name 2. And this will essentially move the contents of file name 1 to file name 2. You can also specify directories where files are located. For example, say I want to copy uh, the contents of Etsy slash hosts to my home folder. I would use cp slash Etsy slash hosts slash home slash pi and that would copy the host file to my my home directory if I wanted to give it a new name uh, I would use CP slash Etsy slash hosts and then slash home slash pi slash say local host or whatever you want to call it um, and the same is true for MV but in this case CP will work but MV will not uh, because the regular user pi does not have permission to modify files in the Etsy directory. It only has permission to read them. But we'll get into that in another tutorial a little bit later. To move or copy a directory and its subdirectories, you'll want to use the dash r option, which again is a, a recursive option, uh, which means to move or copy everything beneath this folder. So for example, cp dash r and then directory one and then directory two. That would copy everything in that folder and everything beneath it. And if you want to find out about any of these commands, um, you can use the man command, which is short for manual. So you would just type man and then say cp or mv or rmdir or anything else that is located on your system. You can use the man to read more about it and find out what those options are. Well, that's it for now, and uh, that's it for getting around in the directories on the Pi's command line. The next tutorial, I'm going to cover some more advanced command line stuff, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you for watching.